Hey, I'm Rob from Pemrisola. I'm the head trainer here. Uh, today we're at Glenbrook. We're here to train one of our brand new apprentices. We're going to go through rail cuts, we're going to go through roof design, and everything he needs to know about a solar install. Let's do it. So this is our landscape design on the house today. Um, we originally design all tin jobs in landscape because we know with the screw lines and how the roof is designed is a good chance it will fit. Um, the guys have jumped up on the roof, they've worked out um, what looks good and, and what will fit and what's safe. The roof is actually quite steep and slippery. So we have a second design in here that's a portrait design. Now, portrait designs don't always work on a tin roof um, because of how we have our screw lines, but a portrait design like this one is actually safer for the boys to work on, where when we put our rail down, we have places to stand on. Um, it also fits in a different kind of way, so we can make it a little bit neater on the roof. Uh, a better experience for the customer and also for the installers on the day like today. With this particular job as well, we've got a uh, two-story drop on this side of the roof um, and also here. Now, the best thing about uh, portrait is at the end of the job, when everything's completed, we don't have to go and fix our ends up like you would in landscape. If you're in landscape, way, the way that we hold our actual panels on is we have ends that are flipped the other way to hold them in place while we get everything level and everything straight. Now, at the end of the day, the boys roped up would have to then try to walk and flip every one of these ends. The problem with that is if you can't get ladder access, it's quite tight and even though you're roped up, it'd still be quite dangerous. With this one, the ends are at one side and the other um, and once this, the panels are laid, the job looks good and the job's done, no need to flip ends or anything unsafe. So you've got one, two, three, four faces. So currently you've got three faces that's design portrait and then this one in landscape. So, but over here, if you have a look closely, there's actually a shared rail. So these two panels will share rail at the top. Okay. okay. So we're just gonna have to like work it out how many rails we need. But first of all, we'll go do the portraits first. Okay. Put them together over here. So we've got four panels. Yeah. Each panel requires two rails, top and bottom. So panel is 11.55 length. And then you wanna times it up by four, cause there's four panels. And then you wanna add 100 for the excess rail. So that's for like um, errors and whatnot. Yep. Yeah, so like there's four panels. So 11.55 times four plus 100. All right, so that's the length of the rail that you need for four panels. Yep. All right, and there's two um, faces, so you're just gonna add it up all together. So technically you need four for these ones. So two, four. Yep. So once you've figured that out, you gotta minus like the full rail, um, and then you can cut the excess. So How the full rail the full is uh, 4,400. So you wanna do 4,720 minus 4,400. All right, so you've got 4,400 as your full length, and then 320 for your um, excess. So you want to cut 320 on the rail, but you have full length, so you can just take out the full length. Yeah, and then just cut 320 off something else. Yeah, yeah. And then you could do the same thing for the other, so then the other faces. So this one, it would be two times yep. 1155. That's it. Plus 100. Plus 100. And then that'll give me what size the yep. rail needs to be. And then for the threes, it's the same. Yeah, exactly the same. Um, and, and then for this, this one, one, we'll work this out after. So okay. we'll do it all together so you don't confuse yourself. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah, and you cut that and then that's what you're going to need. And then okay. that's what you, what you take out. No worries. All right. Cool. Sometimes you can just ride it. You don't, you don't need to tape it. The boys can like work it out yep. Yep. on the roof. So once you've done that, you can pull it out, and then when you pull it up there, they'll see that it's for the four panel. Okay, so we need these four fools. All right, so now let's cut these fours first, and then what length did we work out what the other option was? There. Yes. So we want to cut eight, three, five 
off oh. a full length. We'll do four of those, and then we can use that 835, because that's excess, and then we'll to make the fours. Yeah. So you can, you can cut up to four at a time. So pull out four. Did you have your, your safety glasses as well? Yep. So we'll grab them all out first, mark it up, and then get your, all your gear that you need. And the two is Holding it. doing the line. Yep. So getting a straight line. So what are we doing? Eight, three. Eight, three, five. Other thing you want to work out is get your glasses on, get your, have you done, you used the saw before? You did it on Monday, hey. When you're cutting, right, are you left handed or right handed? Right handed. You want to go from this side, and we want to move it up a bit, because if you cut from your side there, yep. when you're cutting, what's dropping is your hand, and then, then you could potentially cut your hand when you do that. Right. Does that make sense? So, pull it out a lot more. And then, the reason why we leave it in the drawer, because now we have a bench or yeah kind of secure to, to work off. We're putting full pressure on that when we're cutting through. Yep. You want your um, square there because it helps hold it together, but also now you have a straight edge, okay? Yep. You want to go to your zero, you line up your zero there, right? And then that clicks down, blaze at full speed before you go in and then just slowly go through and then these drop. Now, if you're in a nice driveway, we're on the road here, so it's not as bad, but if you're in a brand new driveway, yep you want to put something underneath because the rails, the shavings, but also the rail's going to hit the ground and potentially mark their driveway, which we don't want. So um, on the road like this, no, not much of an issue. Um, drop through, make sure that's not going to hit a car or anything. Yep. Um, and then earmuffs as well. So for that example, it'd be better with a crayon, but we can use a marker as well. You want to just write three multiple times, because what I'm saying is, that is for the row of three. Yep. So when the boys on the roof, they're gonna, they're gonna look at this rail, they're gonna pick it up, and they're gonna go, oh, what, what's that for? Oh, it's for the row of three. So if you go to row of two, or whatever it is, that means if you write down the number, they might not know what cut you were meant to do for what. It can confuse them. See if the cable is up there in the roof. So it's too rigid, it's not going in the roof. Yeah. So I lifted it up. Oh, I can see that the um, yeah, ferret the was tongue. there. Yeah, yeah. Pulled it out. And then now I'm kind of like taking the cable off. Touch um, the cable and then pull it up. Yeah. So yeah. I'll touch the cable, run it on the roof so we have the length, and we'll feed it back in inside the roof. So that way, um, like we're not going on the corner inside of the house. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So sometimes when you get into the corner of the house, like this one, it's really tight and you'd be like crawling in the roof. In the roof space, Sitting yeah. on like insulations and more. If I could use the tongue, because they're more flexible, sometimes they can go in. Yep. But there's a couple of noggins inside the, uh, the cavity, so it was, it was hitting it. Yep. And that means like the cable, oh, the ferret wasn't going up. So I tried this one, this one worked, but it's too rigid to go, because um, it was just hitting something up. Over, there. yeah. Helps when you do it every day. Well, yeah, that's it, like, kind of like, you, you learn from like good tradesmen and you kind of like find your own techniques as well. Yep. Um, just like whatever works in different situations, you know. Okay, so this is just behind over here. Here's alright. 